Hey, before we get started on this farming with family video, uh, it's now the fall and we're into harvest and uh, took a few videos this summer. Summer got way busier than I thought it was gonna be and just didn't get time to upload any videos. So we're gonna play catch up over the next few weeks, but there's some more videos coming your way and we'll get you caught up to harvest. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. Welcome back to Farming with Family. We're gonna get some beans planted today. I have about 130 acres left. So we'll see if we get all that done today. If not, tomorrow should be, unless it would rain tonight. Seems like the theme this year, if we always have a little chance of rain, but that's not a bad thing to have. So I've got the truck out, cats warming up, get fertilizer and seed filled and we'll go out and keep keep planting there was pretty heavy dew this morning so we waited a little bit to get going just so it'll cut through the corn stalks a little better get this kind of stirred around and spread out again then disc this whole area so we can farm through here this used to be an old hay fence so you're just trying to pick out if you can find some hay in it instead of putting that all back with the dirt so the hay can keep breaking down but we'll get this all cleaned up and I'm gonna go start planting here comes two little troublemakers there's Vaughn and Jeremy ride with me for a little bit while I keep seeding. Hey buddy, ready to come ride? Come on Jeremy. Is it snack time already? Yep. We've made two rounds and already want the snacks. What am I going to have for lunch when you eat all my lunch? Hey, what are you doing in my seat? I'm going down. <laughs> now I can't see. I told you these two are troublemakers. rocker allowed out here we'll see if he can get it spread out on the first try doesn't seem to be spreading right now try again there he's got it in his defense he was trying to go back here and this is a little bit of a slope downward and to back that thing up you got to either be level or pointing down a hill if you're going or going up a hill when you're backing up I guess if you're going down a hill backing up it just doesn't have quite enough pitch and it wants to keep those wings together. Got the GPS set up for Caleb. Should be working good. He's going to go start over there where I started the other day. And he'll be chasing me down before I know it. So I got to keep going. Going to bring a little bit more seed, hopefully enough to finish the rest of my acres. And I got my lunch. I put it underneath the, where the fueling area is and Blows nice hot air on there, so hopefully it'll be a nice warm lunch instead of cold. I guess the bearing went out on the rock roller, so Caleb brought that back to the yard. We're gonna get that changed, and Vaughn's on his way to pick me up out here in the field. Sure is nice to have a little chauffeur come and get me. It sure beats walking. Here's what the bearing looks like. That gap is supposed to be filled with the uh, ball bearings, and it's not. So we got it before it did much damage. We got that, we got a new one. 
that wheel changed and we'll be on our way. Millimeter by millimeter, it's almost off. After four years, I'm finally planting through this area. Jacob helped, David helped, Caleb helped, and we finally got it all cleaned up and tilled. It makes this field a whole lot easier to spray, plant, and combine. Here's the end of this field. After this, just 65 more acres to go. Now it's the dance of do we have enough seed. It's going to be closed, that's all I know. There's the beep. Oh, wrong one. It helps if I put the right handle down. All right, all done for this field. So we were gonna switch to spraying since we finished this field, but that doesn't look so promising over there. Looked on radar and it looks like we're supposed to get hit by a little cell in about an hour. So that doesn't work very well for trying to spray and get stuff to activate and soak in where it needs to be. So we will hold up to tomorrow. We're gonna go fix the rock roller. My neighbor that I rented it from, he had a bearing sent over for it, uh, but it was just slightly too big. I think it's for a different rock roller, but then he called another neighbor and he's got the same kind. So he brought the bearing and it's the right one now. So we'll get that all fixed up and maybe see if Caleb can go do a little more rock rolling tonight yet. The rock roller is fixed. Caleb's gonna do a little more rolling. I guess until it rains, so we'll see what happens. Get it unfolded again and we'll start going. So today, I was gonna go start spraying right away, but we got 65 acres of beans left, um, and we're I'm gonna be planting. They got like 78, 70 hundreds of rain, and here we just got a sprinkle the other night, so it's really wet up there. So I'm gonna get my neighbor, he's got a coulter that he's been renting to me. I'm gonna go up there and lightly till that, get the top uh, like an inch, inch and a half, get that fluffed up and dried out so I can go plant that tomorrow because tomorrow night it looks like rain chances from tomorrow night all the way through the weekend so we're gonna try to get that done but yesterday we got lawn mode it looks like a lawn again instead of a pasture so eventually got to it now it looks nice getting the tractor topped off with fuel before I go up there because it's my furthest field away and don't really feel like taking fuel to it. So we'll get that done and then we'll get our spraying done later today. It's supposed to be calm pretty much all day. So it'll be a nice day for, I only have 130 acres to spray so it won't take all that long. to the field decided to put the cat on this quick because it's got a little more power should be able to pull it faster that's about the air seeder part of the tractor over there this field's dried out but you go down a little bit and there's kind of a little bit gummy so we're just going to lightly do it and make it a little bit nicer seed bed don't have to worry about mudding it in 
now we're getting some work done. 4560 will pull this about seven miles an hour tops. We're doing 11 miles an hour easy. The load percentage is like 70, 75. And look at that mud fly. We're just doing it lightly. This is gonna work so great. It says I'll do 50 something acres an hour. This is about 65 acres, so we'll see how long it takes to get it done. I'm loving it. Just doing the last pass, we gotta do the ends of this field, but it has worked really, really nice. Able to hit that end where I broke up where there was an old fence line and it's you know flinging up the, the muddy top. And I might be able to start seeding this later this evening. <clears throat> Just got to go home and spray around my place and then we'll get headed up here. So we'll see how much we can get done this evening. But gonna do the end rows and then we'll be done with this field. I finished working up that field, got back to the farm, and now I'm mixing some spray. I'm gonna go out and spray around my house and then head back up and probably start planting that field because it should be should be dry enough. My brother Caleb is heading up there with the payloader. There's a few rocks. Uh, we took out an old fence and there's a few rocks in the fence line. So he's taking the payloader to pick those up. And then I'll go up there and see if he needs some help once I get up there. And then once we're done with that, then I'll start planting. We are spraying. Getting close to being done with this field. Been having problems with my monitor or steering wheel. It keeps saying it's losing connection, but it's working for now. Tips are all working good. Just got over to the fence to go. Got a little piece of what used to be the old cow lot. Well, we got all the north side done. We still got some more on the uh, west side to do. We'll hit that right away in the morning while we're waiting for the dew to come off. That. We're gonna bring the disc up here. We gotta smooth out a little bit more, like over, you know, where you pick up the rocks, you move a little dirt and stuff, make a mess. So we will do that and then we'll plant tomorrow, get this all done. I was very close. I probably have two acres left. I shoveled my seed over to the one side since it only feeds out half of it. And we'll see if I have enough to get at least down there. Talk to the agronomist and he's gonna bring me out some. He's not super excited to come out here for a few units, but you gotta serve the little farmers and the big farmers if you wanna sell seed. While we wait for seed, we pull rocks out. Go buddy. No, hit the button. Caleb's playing 
chicken. Who's gonna turn first? My GPS or oh oh yeah, he turned. And just like that, soybean planting 2024 is over. Last time I'll hear that beef this year. Kale is right behind me, finishing up rock rolling. The next guy needs that. A little bit of seed I have left. I'm gonna just plant in the low. And then we'll wrap it up and head home. Good feeling. Now that planting is all done, I'm taking the rest of my liquid fertilizer out, putting it in the shuttle that I got some extra in. Save that for next year. Get this tank emptied out, put it back with my other tanks and have a little bit more uh, reserve for when I do more spraying. Bring in the fertilizer, we're taking the rest of my granular fertilizer, putting it in a tote bag for next year. Got a little bit too much. I got my acrobatics in for the day. There's a little bit stuck up there, so I climbed up and shoveled it down. And we almost got a whole tote full. So we'll use that first thing next year. And on the plus side, it's, it'll be all paid for. Today I'm gonna get the rest of my soybean freeze done. Just have 70 acres left. Feels nice to be ahead of the game and having not uh, be in panic mode or rush mode. So that's been really, really nice. Getting seeding done a little bit earlier this year. But gotta get some chemical mixed up and we'll head up to the field. It's about 10 miles away, so a bit of a drive. So I don't have to take a full tank. So I just mix it up, take it up there. I don't have to bring the truck up there or anything. Then we're getting this field taken care of. Everything seems to be working good. This, food, this field's actually pretty smooth, so it's not a whole lot of bouncing. It's gonna take long and we'll be done.